hello react native developers welcome back to my channel so today what we are going to build is we are going to build instagram style navigation where we when we have a list of posts and when we click on the post we open the tail view and we can just use our gestures to our fingers to go back to the screen we can scale the down scale down the detail screen we can move it to the x and y value and then we can go back to the post screen so let me show you how it will work let me go back to the screen where we were and now so as you can see we have the list of posts where we have three columns and now when i open this it will open like this like it opens in the instagram and when we scroll our finger or we move our finger it will look like this and when we drop it it will go back to the same place where it was so this is what we are going to build today so let's get started here i have already created some components here which is the image the post screen and then we have the detail screen and now we are going to implement that animation and shared element animation with this screen these both screens so what i have what i have did in this is in the app.js i have defined a navigation container and then a stack navigator which is which we have two screens which is post and details and then in the post we have a flat list which is showing the images in three columns and then in the detail view what we have is we just are showing an image here and we are going to use the react native the animated version 3.0 in this so let's get started first thing i want to show you is in the post we are going to make all the views to animated view let's import animated from react native the animated and wrap this image to animated dot image and we are also going to wrap this animated dot view because when we are animating the the whole screen of detail view then we are also going to maintain the background of that detail screen inside this image view i will show you better so now i have defined the animated view in this and what i'm going to do is i am going to define the share transition tag and this will be item dot id to string plus whatever the random number or random string you want to attach because i also want to add some share tag to this animated view and this will be item dot id to string and we are not going to add this one here because this is the main view so now our this view is ready and we can save this till now nothing is new it's the same also what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable the header for this detail post detail view and it will be shown here only so now we have the image and this detail view let's reload it and also in the detail screen what i'm i'm going to use the same share transition tag for the view and for the image so let's jump into here and this will be animated dot view let's first import the animated from react native animated yes and now also let's make this animated dot image and we are going to extract the id and we will add the tags here that will be id to string and for this it was plus one id dot to string plus one so now as we have configured the shader element with this now it will look like this 
so we have we can already see that we have the anime smooth animation which is like when we click the post and it zooms into the post it zooms into the image like this like this is looking beautiful and now what we are going to do is i'm going to add pan gesture handler to this screen so when we move our fingers like swipe down or swipe left or right then it will scale down the screen and also when we scale down to at some level then we will go back to the screen and that will make the whole animation look great so let's start with the react native gesture handler let me import this import react native gesture handler and we are going to import two things from here one is the ge gesture detector and the second is gesture only and now we are going to wrap this whole component with the gesture detector and after that we are going to define the gesture we are going to define pan gesture for this specific screen now let's do that gesture is equal to gesture and let's define it const gesture gesture dot pan and now we are going to add two functions which is one is the on update whenever we are doing some update on the gesture when gesture is hitting so it will update and we get the values and the second is when gesture is ended on end like this dot on end also we are going to define animated style which we are going to use for animating the animated view let's do that animated style is is going to we are going to import use animated style from the react native react native reanimated is animated style and it will return an object and let's use this it will be an array and then animated style so mm -hmm. now we're almost done with the gesture handler we have integrated gesture handler and we can now start defining the actions like how we can do it first we are going to do the translate x and translate y so let's define those two variables translate x is equal to it will be a say animated value which is going to be zero and same for the translate y and after that we are going to animate it so translate x dot value will be value dot translate x i am downgrading it to 0 0.8 or because when we are moving our fingers too fast then we can move it so much down like we can't see the screen so i'm just making sure that we make we show something on the screen whenever our screen is in the bottom part of the screen and same for the translate y translate y dot value it will be value dot translate y into 0 0.8 i think we have some issue okay this is the issue we added something else and now we are good now let's define it in the animated style with transform first is translate x that will be translate x dot value and second is the translate y it will be same Also, we want to make sure that when our gestures and ended, we make the translate x and translate y to the same position where it was. So, how we can do it? Translate x dot value with timing. It will be zero and duration will be three hundred milliseconds. Same for the translate y. And if we do this, let's try to run this. Now, as you can see, when I'm moving my mouse with this we can see the image is moving i'm moving it to right if to left and we can see and it is also going back but uh, there is one problem with this like when we are doing this we can't see the previous screen we can't see all the posts which are there so how we can do this let's define this stack navigator as a model and then we can see the previous screen so how we do this presentation style will be transparent model if we do this we can see the previous screen it is not showing let me refresh it so if i refresh this and i open this post 
you can see I can I can see the previous post screen but still there is issue like when we are opening our post we don't want to see it but only we want to see when we are moving go to when we are moving it and when we are going back so how we can do this we can define the background color and the opacity and when we are going back then we are going to use the opacity to zero so let's define the opacity const opacity it will be used say value one initially it will be one and we are going to downgrade it to zero when we are going back so when we are going back when the translate y dot value is greater than 100 so how we can do this translate y dot value is greater than 50 we are using 50 now and i'm going to it run on the js thread because it is a javascript function and it will not run on the work that of the gesture animation so when we are going back we want to make sure opacity dot value is zero and now let's set in the style so background color will be interpolate color opacity dot value in is input is 0 or 1 and then output will be if it is 0 then we want it transparent if it is 1 then we are going to show the byte let's see how it now we can see that right now opacity is 1 we can see the white background and when we are going back we can see like the white background is hidden and we are just going nicely to the post screen but there are still some issues with this screen is this is not working let me reload this that first we have to add some border radius to make it look good border radius will be 20 and we are also going to use overflow hidden because image when we do the border radius for the upper part and we are using image then it overflows and we can't see the border radius so we have to use the overflow hidden if we do this then we can see the border radius it is looking good but still we have one thing which is left in this which is scaling it down to a level where we can see like something is going and we can go back and how we can do this let's define the scale use saved value scale first it will be 1 and the minimum we are going to use is 0 0.9 because if we do more than that then it will not look good it will look very small in the screen so let's do that so on update first I'm going to calculate the distance to the finger we are moving on the pen gesture handler so how we can do that we are going to use the math dot square root and it will be value dot translation x into value dot translation x plus translation y into value dot translation y so if we do this we can calculate the distance how much we moved our finger or our mouse and then we are going to use the scale to use the minimum and maximum value so how we can do that scale value then it will be math dot min math dot max it will be distance by 100 and 1 and minimum we want to use is 0 0.9 after doing this we can set this scale dot value to scale value we can do it with timing and duration will be 100 as we are not using any scale right now we have to pass it in the transform so scale scale dot value if we do this and i think we are complete with the code let's see the result we open this this is opening nicely and then when we are going it down it is scaling to down and we can see our screen but we still have one issue with this like when we are moving our finger below 50 pixels then it is staying there it is not going back to the where it was so how we can do that we have to add the else condition here else wrap this and we also have to scale dot value to with timing one duration will be 300 
so if we do this then it will go back to the position where it was it is going back and it is going back to the post one so now we are good so that's all for this video guys if you learn something please do subscribe to my channel and also do comment if you have any questions thank you so much